Now let's talk about the head work. Getting some of these views and some of the positions and some of the views are, the, are identical in uh, let's say different series, a sinus series or facial bones or a skull series and how do you know the difference and what are the differences? So today we'll talk about some of the most common ones that are the most confusing. Uh, we'll talk about the towns, the lateral, the PA Caldwell, and the waters. First we will discuss the town's view. How can you keep this straight with the centering points and the angles and which views? So first we need to discuss just a little story about going downtown at the age of 30. You can't be 31, you can't be 29, you must be 30 years old to go downtown because you have a two and a half year old. So 30 degrees down, caught at 30 degrees downtown, two and a half inches above the glabella will be your centering point. Typically for the mandible this is true as well, but you're going to be 35 degrees and go downtown. Remember I said you have to be 30 only to go downtown. If you're older, most likely you're going to get in a fight or something's going to happen to you and you're going to break your mandible. So think about that. 35, you're going to get in a fight, break your mandible. 35 degrees going downtown, you're going to center one inch above the glabella. So look at the difference here in these images, the one on the right and the one on the left. Just the extra five degrees and just centering one and a half inches lower, look at how much difference that makes. So this confuses a lot of people, but remember 30 degrees downtown with a two and a half year old. If not, you go down when you're 35. 35 is going to be, it's going to be a, a bad situation for your mandible and you're going to center one inch above the gabella on that one. Now for the lateral. This, the IOML is perpendicular on all the views but the centering point is what's different on this and obviously what you were looking for for the criteria. But the main thing is going to be the centering point for a skull two and a half inches above the EAM. For the sinuses and the facial bones it's between the outer canthus and the EAM. Now the facial bones the book also says at the zygoma but your collimation is going to be different for all of these views and of course for any of the sinuses you don't want to use the AEC you want to set a fixed technique. So in the lateral the position of the patient is going to remain the same. The criteria for the rotation and the tilt is going to be the same um, but what you're looking for um, is going to be a little different because your collimation is what the big difference is and of course your technique. And the centering point is the main thing. Two inches above the EAM for the skull lateral, midway between the outer canthus and the EAM for the others, and the zygoma is mentioned for the facial bones. Next, let's talk about the Caldwell method. But before we do, I want to introduce you to somebody that I know from high school, and his name is J.C. Caldwell. J.C. Caldwell was 15 years old when I knew him. And he was the fastest runner in our entire school at 15 years old. And because of that, he was pretty stuck up. Now you say, why do we discuss J.C. Caldwell being 15 years old and being a fast runner and him being stuck up with his nose? This will help you remember the Caldwell method because J.C. Caldwell was 15 years old. You're going to angle 15 degrees down. The down will help you remember that his feet, he was super fast. And since he was 15 years old and a fast runner, he was pretty, pretty stuck up and held his nose in the air. So you're going to angle 15 degrees down to exit at the nasion. I know it seems silly, but it's a simple thing to help you remember on all the views, the skull, sinuses, and facial bones. It's all 15 degrees down to exit at the nasion because J.C. Caldwell was 15 a fast runner and he was pretty stuck up because of this. Remember on the sinuses you need a horizontal beam so you're going to angle the bucky 15 degrees and not the CR. And the main difference again is the collimation and the AEC should not be used on the sinus images. The last one we will discuss will be the waters. And the main difference in the waters for all the views whether it's uh, sinuses, nasal bones, facial bones, whatever. It's always going to be the MML is perpendicular and the CR is going to exit at the acanthian and the only difference is going to be is the collimation. 
So you can look at an image and tell that it's a waters for nasal bones, or it's a waters for facial bones, or a waters for skull. Whatever the view is, a waters is a waters is a waters. The patient is in a waters position. The only difference is the collimation. And again, on the sinuses view, you are going to set a technique. You're not going to use the AEC.